Okay, YouTubers and the RPF.com. Here is how you make iPods for your Iron Man helmets. Um, as you can see here, basically I started with a uh, Bondo puck. Um, what I initially did was I took saran wrap, wrapped it along the inside, uh, put tape on the back side here, uh, applied it, made sure it was nice and, and uh, probably about here. Um, just wrap saran wrap on the inside, taped it off in the corners, and then filled it with Bondo. Um, as you can see on the back of this, you can see where the Bondo lines are, or with the saran wrap uh, connected with the Bondo. So uh, that's something I still have to fix. Um, but anyways, so when you have something like this, um, it fills up all the way to the eyes. You can see in the corners there, I'm still working on this, so it's a little bit rough. Um, and then I carved the insides uh, somewhat flat. They're, they're a little bit um, curved on the inside. But um, anyway, so iPods are just like uh, hinges for helmets. Uh, they all differ. So uh, if you take this and put it in, say, my war machine, it, it closely matches, but it's kind of funky. Uh, if you take my new war machine, uh, with a broken faceplate and try it. It's not. It doesn't even go toward towards the full end of the the um, the eye socket there. So um, they're differing depending on which helmet you have. So, anyways, um, so that's how you make this. At least that's how I did it. Um, call it tape -acura, I guess. Onto LEDs. Um, you have your standard LEDs here with the resistor, and then you have the small uh, micro. Um, LED lights and these are the, were the pieces of plastic that I had for uh, filling in the eye socket here so you can see it fits inside there right there anyways so once you have this and you have your LEDs um, the thing that you want to do is obviously put the plastic inside the eyes line the LEDs along the top and the bottom and then what you can do is take a black piece of plastic and cover the back of it just like that now this piece of plastic was was uh, something I was trying to do earlier uh, I found out reflective shiny chrome looking things do not reflect LED light very well uh, the best thing for it is actually white white reflects LED lights better than anything else so um, basically what you're trying to do is when you have the iPod you put the lens in put the LEDs in and I like the smaller profile like this because you can lay them on top uh, as opposed to these which require a little bit more space and a little bit more room um, so once you put the LEDs in and you get your light diffused because there will be hot spots with LEDs LEDs will throw off a small curve especially with these style here they'll throw a curve like this where the light is now usually you need probably about say a quarter of an inch to diffuse the lights uh, if you're using it at the top and bottom if you're using it from the back side as a display unit it's going to have to be at least a quarter of an inch hot, tall to diffuse the light once you do put the lights in as i said you do need something to cover the back uh, so the light doesn't leak out from the sides or from the bottoms or the back so um anyways if you guys have any questions let me know uh, i'll be molding these soon uh, for my style helmets, um, uh, as I said, every every light socket is going to be different for the eyes, uh, for individual helmets. I mean, if you have a general relative size, then it might work, but um, in most cases, you know, you're going to have to end up modifying it. So, um, if you guys have any questions, subscribe, um, let me know. Um, I'll try and help you out as much as I can. Uh, this is something I'm still working as a discovery in progress. Um, so. Uh, let me know. Thanks, guys.